Our first stop on this tour will be a bus stop. Many of Grand River Transit's bus stops have shelters and digital displays to let you know about the next arriving buses. Looking at the stop marker, you can see that two different bus routes stop here. The destination sign on the bus shows which route it is. Make sure you get on the correct bus. If you aren't sure, check with the bus driver. When waiting for your bus, stand next to the stop marker so the operator knows you are waiting to board. When the bus pulls up, stand back from the doors so other customers can get off. The operator can make the bus kneel. This means the operator can lower the front of the bus so there is less of a step for you to get in. If kneeling the bus is not enough, the operator can also lower the ramp. If you feel more comfortable boarding with the bus kneeling or with the ramp, just let the operator know. When you enter the bus, you will see the operator seated in the front next to the fare box. Have your fare payment ready. You can pay for your trip with an EasyGo fare card, exact cash, or a valid transfer. EasyGo fare cards can be purchased for $5 from the Customer Service Center in Kitchener or the Ainsley Street Terminal in Cambridge, or from a fare vending machine. If you are paying with a fare card, your fare will be deducted and a 90-minute transfer will be applied to your card. When you tap your card again within 90 minutes, you will not be charged another fare. When tapping your fare card on the fare box, hold your card directly over the EasyGo symbol. Hold your card level and flat to the reader. If your tap was successful, you'll hear a ding and the screen will show your remaining card balance or transfer time. You can find current fare prices at grt.ca forward slash fares. If you pay with cash, you can get a paper transfer from the fare box. Press the black button on the fare box when the transfer light goes on, or ask the operator for a transfer. EasyGo fare cards and paper transfers can be used on both GRT buses and ION trains. It's all one system with one fare. When you're riding, you'll hear audio announcements informing you of the upcoming stops. Columbia at University of Waterloo. There is also a display screen at the front of the bus showing the name of the next stop. When your stop is next, let your operator know you want to get off by pulling the yellow cord or pressing one of the red stop buttons. A screen at the front of the bus will light up indicating that a stop has been requested. Please exit from the back of the bus if you are able to do so. The rear doors will not open until the bus comes to a complete stop and the green light comes on. You will need to wave your hand in front of the doors or press on the doors with your hand. If you would prefer to exit through the front of the bus or are using a mobility aid that requires you to exit from the front, you may do so. The operator can kneel the bus or lower the ramp for you when you exit the front doors. Priority seating is reserved for all customers with any type of disability. Remember, many disabilities are invisible. Customers don't need to disclose disabilities to sit in these spots, and operators cannot ask about customer disabilities. Operators can only inform customers that priority seating is reserved for customers with disabilities. There are two folding seats in the priority seating area. These seats can be folded up to accommodate customers using a wheelchair or small scooter. If you are using a wheelchair or scooter and need the seat folded up, just let the operator know. Customers using a wheelchair or scooter will position their mobility device so they are facing the back of the bus. There is a stop request button in the priority seating area. When you press the yellow bar, the stop request will ding twice. This double ding lets the operator know that a person in priority seating will be getting off at the next stop. The operator will then lower the bus or ramp and ensure no customers board while you get off the front of the bus. When you're taking transit, make sure to cross only at marked crosswalks. When crossing train tracks, watch for the crossing arms coming down when a train approaches and stand clear. All ION station platforms have a similar layout. You'll see a colorful anchor wall and a shelter in the middle of the platform. Each ION station has a display screen and audio announcements informing you when the next train will arrive. 
Each ION train, ION platform, and all GRT buses have cameras to record activity for the safety of all customers. There is a blue emergency call box at each ION station. In the event of an emergency, press the button on the box and speak to a representative for assistance. Fair vending machines are available at each ION station. These fair vending machines can be used to buy a fare card, load money or passes onto new and existing fare cards, or to buy individual tickets. Fair vending machines can accept credit, debit, and cash. Platform validators are found at each end of the ION platform. You can tap your EasyGo fare card to pay for your ION ride, or you can scan your transfer. Make sure to pay your fare before boarding ION and keep your proof of payment with you. Fare enforcement officers may board the train and ask to see your proof of payment. Have your transfer or EasyGo fare card ready. When waiting to board on ION trains, stand behind the yellow line. The platform has four black sections that indicate where the doors will be when the train stops. Stand near one of the black sections, but stand back to allow passengers to get off the train before you board. When traveling on the train, you do not need to request your stop. The train will stop at each station. There are audio announcements and display screens in the train to announce the next station. If the doors don't open automatically, press the button when the green light comes on. In case of an emergency, press one of the yellow emergency strips. On ION trains, the operator sits inside the cab. If you need to speak to the operator, there are intercom buttons located throughout the train. If you are boarding with a mobility device or need to sit in the priority seating area, board through the double doors in the middle of the train. There are four priority seating areas on the train. Priority seating is reserved for all customers with any type of disability. There is an intercom button in each priority seating area if you need to speak to the operator. If you need extra time to exit the train, press the blue accessibility button prior to your station stop. This will alert the operator that someone in priority seating will be exiting at the next station. Thanks for traveling with Grand River Transit.